So, happy International Women's Day, gents. Your friend and my top student, Daniel, has asked me to come and speak to you guys today. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna be in my work clothes anymore, though, so I'm gonna change. So, do you all have moms, grandmas, sisters? Although you should try and do a little bit of this every day, today is the day to show them some appreciation. So that is what we're gonna do. Professor Trisha? Just Trisha. Ah, uh, Trisha. You strike me as a very rational, down-to-earth kind of woman, which isn't what I think any of us were respecting. No? No. Uh, Squirrely uh, sometimes made you seem like kind of a... Bitch. But Murray! I was gonna say cunt. But I'm almost positive I'm not gonna be able to get you guys to do what I want you to do by being a cunt. So, here is what we're gonna do. One by one, each of you are gonna come up here and do some tire pumping for a woman you admire. Now, who would like to go first? Oh, oh, oh. Down noser. Why don't I get the ball rolling? So, a woman I admire is Lizzie Sear, and I admire her because she gave a dude gonorrhea in 1917. That's supposed to be a good thing. It was in this case. How come no one ever admired me for giving them that? Well, the man she gave it to ratted her out, and she was charged with vagrancy. The case went all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada, where her defense lawyer appealed the conviction on the grounds that the female magistrate who made the ruling did not have the legal authority to act as a judge because as a woman, she was not considered a person under the British North America Act. Wait, this is the best part. Teacher's pet. The case ultimately led to women officially being declared people by the British Privy Council. I would take a bit of the clap if it meant changing the world. <sighs> Me too, Stuart. What's your name? Roald. I like your enthusiasm, Roland. Roald. Stuart? Rolled? Uh, Rolled. You're up. 